Man, I've got something very powerful that I wanna share with you guys today. But first off, I just wanna thank y'all so much for hitting the like button and subscribing and supporting Getting the Truth out here, guys. Former President Donald Trump's process of choosing a running mate, a VP pick, has literally entered its final exciting stages, brimming with anticipation and strategic moves. In fact, Donald Trump, known for his flair and theatrical style, is now narrowing down his focus to a set of top contenders while cleverly keeping the public and the media guessing about his ultimate choice. And I think we have just received the biggest tip, the biggest hint as to who Donald Trump is actually going to be picking for his VP pick for 2024. Stay tuned, guys. He has literally been encouraging his team to fuel speculation about various candidates, uh, creating this kind of atmosphere of suspense and borderline excitement, but privately, Donald Trump has shown primary interest in three, actually technically probably four prominent figures. Senator J.D. Vance of Ohio, Governor Doug Burgum of North Dakota, Mark Robinson, Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina, and Senator Marco Rubio of Florida. Now, according to these individuals who have spoken recently with Donald Trump and they pre they prefer to remain anonymous, these candidates, let's be honest, guys, they're at the forefront of his considerations. And this indicates Donald Trump's focus on strong, influential leaders who can complement his vision and his campaign. However, Donald Trump is also keeping his options open and considering basically continuing a gathering to gather opinions on other notable contenders such as Ben Carson. He's a very respected retired neurosurgeon and former housing secretary. And let's not forget about Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina, guys. So this approach, it really just kind of showcases Donald Trump's thorough and thoughtful decision making process making sure that he selects the best possible running mate, a.k.a. vice president. So, yeah, several Republican strategists believe that it might not be advantageous for Donald Trump to announce his vice presidential pick during the same week as his first debate with President Joe Biden. This is a strategy, guys. So and as you guys know, the uh, presidential debate with Donald Trump and uh, President Biden was a disaster for Biden in Atlanta. Nevertheless, though, Trump is seizing the opportunity to invite a parade of his potential picks. And uh, and so there's that. Now, this particular strategic move uh, not only highlights the strengths of the top contenders, but it also keeps the excitement and the momentum going. So, yeah, Mark Robinson, uh, he actually began by acknowledging the many issues that are facing our country right now, including this wide open border, crime, fentanyl, killing children, porn in the schools, a failing economy, and of course, the precarious place of the United States on the world stage. I mean, without further ado, let me go ahead and share this unbelievable, uh, this unbelievable display that in all honesty, I don't think anyone was prepared for this. Take a listen. First and foremost, guys, all these other guys that come out here and talk to you about the issues, we know the issues, the wide open border. Crime on the street, fentanyl killing our children, pornography in our schools. We know about the issues, the failing economy, the precarious place the United States find this, finds itself in on the world stage with its enemies. The horrible, absolutely dreadful administration that is currently leading our nation right now. It is mind-numbing to think that the most energetic the greatest nation on earth people seek to come to for that vaunted thing that we have, the freedom and energy and intelligence that we have in this country. And all 350 million people are being led by somebody who just barely knows that they're here on earth. <laughs> we know what the issues are. But I, you know, I didn't really come here to go into details about the issues. What I really came here to do, I came here to get something started. <laughs> See, because we got a problem in this country. We got a bunch of clapple trap people that sit behind news media desks and want to talk about fake trials for President Trump. 
turn the television on and talk about first one actor and then another actor. Talking about all manners of foolishness. Talking about MAGA Republicans being the most dangerous people on earth. I don't know, I didn't see any MAGA Republicans on 9-11 blowing up buildings and airplanes. I don't think any MAGA Republicans were over in Israel murdering people. And I don't think a MAGA Republican gave them the money to be able to do it. See, we got folks in this country that don't want to talk about the substantive issues that all of us face. The things that we just talked about, that wide open border, the precarious place we find ourselves with safety and security in the world, on the world stage. They don't want to talk about your pocketbook. They don't want to talk about the fact that your children are in schools where we spend millions upon millions upon millions of dollars for those schools and the children can't read on the grade level. They don't want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about the fact that every single solitary policy that they proposed and then passed yields horrible results. They don't want to talk about it. Why? Because it proves an essential truth. It proves an essential truth. What is that truth? The simple truth of the matter is this. They call us the right. We sit on the right. And we not only get called the right and call ourselves the right and sit on the right, we are right. We are right about every single solitary issue. When we say, shut that border down and deport those who are dangerous to our country, we are right. When we say, children should not be sexualized we are right, and this nation knows it, when we say that it's your money, you earned it, you worked for it, the government should not be picking your pocket. We are right. See, we are right. Too many of us are ashamed to be right, though. Some of us, we go to work and folks start talking about politics and Start standing up saying, I think Joe Biden's doing a wonderful job. <laughs> and he's a nice man because that President Trump is just mean. I just don't like the things that he says. He's just mean and arrogant and he's a bully. If I hear that one more time, I am going to go crazy. This man is fighting. Let's list the people he's fighting. He's fighting almost the entire news media. He's fighting all the Democrats. He's fighting all the communists. He's fighting all the socialists. He's fighting all of our enemies across the ocean. And sadly, he's fighting half the Republicans. How is this man a bully? How is he a bully? You see, we hear that at work sometimes, some of us, and we're a little shy about stepping up, standing up, saying anything. People look at us and say, why are you a Republican? We say, well, you know... My mom voted Republican, and I like Ronald Reagan. <laughs> I think he did a great job, and I like Reagan. And so I, that's why I'm a Republican. We shy away from the truth. We don't want to look at that person and say, you know, well, wasn't it the Republican Party that was formed to stand up for the Republic? Not the democracy like you see played on the news every day. You see, them folks want a democracy. They want the mob to rule. They don't want this republic. And they don't re want Republicans standing up for the republic. Wasn't that amazing, guys? Like, unfreaking believable. And he criticizes the current administration as being horrible and absolutely just dreadful, expressing disbelief that a nation as energetic and as great as the United States is being led by someone who seems barely aware of his surroundings. I mean, you guys saw Joe Biden on stage during the presidential elections uh, a couple days ago. But despite acknowledging these issues, Mark Robinson states that he didn't come to discuss all of these things in detail. Instead, he aims to address a broader problem. The media is focused on these fake trials for President Donald Trump and other trivial matters 
then the real substantive, substantive, uh, substantive issues affecting the country. But this is the truth, guys. He highlights the media's portrayal of MAGA Republicans as the most dangerous people on earth. Seriously? The most dangerous people on earth? Unbelievable. Contrasting this with the real threats of, you know, situations like the 9-11 attacks and violence in Israel, Hamas. I mean, this this how how in the world could MAGA Republicans make the top most dangerous people in the world? Like, seriously? So beyond that, Mark Robinson criticizes like who those who avoided uh, discussing uh, critical issues such as border security, economic stability, education and policy outcomes. He goes on to say that the policies proposed by the current administration, they yield horrible results which is exactly why these topics are typically ignored. Mark Robinson goes on and emphasizes that conservatives or those on the right, they're correct on these issues. We, I mean, he, he ultimately kind of asserts that these conservatives, they're calling for, for shutting down the border and deporting dangerous individuals. Um, and I think that they're right. When, when, when they oppose the uh, you know, sexualization of children, they are right. When they argue that people should keep the money that they earn and not be uh, bent over by excessive tax raising and, and sending money overseas to, you know, fight all of these different wars that we didn't ask for, they are right. Now, the Trump campaign is demanding an apology from President Biden and his team for dismissing videos showing Biden's public mistakes as cheap fakes and misinformation spread by conservatives. Now, these videos, they depict actual instances where President Biden, he appears to stand motionless, needs guidance off stage by family members or allies, or, you know, just straight up seems confused during public events. Anyway, the White House and President Biden's campaign have labeled these videos as cheap fakes, defining them as real videos cropped or edited in a supposedly deceptive way by the Trump campaign and its allies. Unbelievable the lies that they choose to spread here. Uh, but yeah, guys, again, if you haven't already, do hit the like button for the video, subscribe to the channel, share this video, and help get the truth out. I really appreciate the support, you guys. All the new members, you guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, and I dropped a bomb video, if you guys hadn't seen it already. Uh, some of these judges are about to get removed from a lot of Donald Trump's cases. Make sure you check those previous videos out. I'll leave a link down below, maybe a video here, here. Anyway, check those out and I'll see you guys on the next one.